Yeah, so why is everyone saying it's a jubilee year? <clears throat> so, I'll show you why it's not possible for it to be a jubilee year. It's, um, so the millennial reign, right, when Jesus has his city here and all that, and the dead in Christ rise, right, and they help him with the, to run um, his city and all that, to rule and reign. And that's at the end up here. You'll see here, if you can see on this side, there's a city, Jesus is in there, ruling and reigning. Everyone, everyone else is out in darkness or whatever. All right. <clears throat> this is the Manoli reign here at the end. Okay, so you've got seven years of trumpets, all right, um, and then you've got seven years of seals, so that's 14 years, and here we are here, all right, at the start. So you've got Luke, Mark, Matthew. Matthew speaks to Judah, Mark speaks to the church, right, the uh, left behind church, and Luke speaks to the bride, all right, pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib, all right, so, where were we, jubilees, jubilees are made up of sevens, all right, so they're made up of the Shemitah cycles, which are seven years, 49 years is a jubilee year, all right, so for us, to be in a jubilee year, we need to be either in the manilial reign or or at about to start, right, next year, and then that means we're straight into Jesus, right? Didn't even get the dead in Christ to rise first or anything. Dead in Christ rise here, all right? So we're either just about to go into it, or we're 49 years this direction, and there's no in between, all right? So I don't know where everyone's getting this from. You've still got seven years of seals to happen, even if you only believe there's seven years, right? There's still seven years to go before you hit a jubilee year, all right? Because there it is. That's the jubilee year there, all right? So, um, yeah, you've got to, uh, you've got your, your main escape here, which is when Jesus shows up. He's the white horse. He comes down and he warns Judah to get out of um, Israel because uh, God, they didn't let it rest and God's going to destroy it. Um, it destroys um, Jerusalem, flattens it. Um, he also breathes on uh, some of these guys here, um, and they go into seals and to bring in the great multitude, right? And that's these guys here, right? The ones that get all their heads cut off. These are the ones that die doing their job. They're sent in. These are the ones they really want to kill. They've got to stop these guys, right? So they kill them. And these are the guys that rise here. They are in Christ and they rise here. So if you look at um, Paul's one there where he's saying above 14 years, right? You'll see the top one is I, I knew a man that was in Christ, right? In Christ. Um, and he went to the third heaven, right? And then you'll see the next verse that says I knew such a man a man sort of like a man in Christ. He was not in Christ, but he was such a man. He was like a man in Christ. That's this lot, right? The man in Christ was this lot. The ones that were sort of like him were this lot, right? And this lot, you'll see under that one, go to paradise, right? Not third heaven. This one here goes third heaven. This one here goes paradise, all right? And uh, so you... Yeah, Jesus comes on your white horse after Jerusalem is destroyed. Um, your red horse will ride. Right? And then um, you're in the war for a few years and whatever else. Um, your famine is a famine of the word, right? Bread. There'll be no bread. Bread is the word, right? So there'll be no God. You're not allowed to have God, right? They'll be, they'll be getting rid of it. Then you'll have your inserted false God, your prophet or whatever. Um, everyone will be forced to worship him. Uh, these ones won't, so they'll kill them. Um, and these ones will be the troublemakers, causing all the hassles. Right, hit back here. Uh, your rapture happens. Your hundred and so like this lot here, where Jesus breathes on this lot. Right, the hundred and forty-four come out of uh, this lot. The hundred and forty-four thousand, or and there might even be some of these. I, I don't know, can't know for sure. Um, so they come out of there, and this lot go into trumpets, and they get Judah. Right, to bring in Judah. So. Um, you've got Judah here, uh, the woman flies away for times, times and half time, so you know the one wings of the eagle, alright, so that's where he is, they escape before, um, that's the third rapture, alright, they escape before all the, the big stuff happens, 
Um, another big story in the two witnesses. I'll let you figure that one out. Um, but yeah, there's your Jubilee here, right? Here's us over here. Above 14 years. We are above 14 years away from Jubilee. Paul was actually over here when he's speaking because he says 14 years ago, right? Not 13 years, not 15 years. He said 14 years, right? And he's speaking from over here. And he says, I knew a man from 14 years ago. All right, so that's here. All right, so we are not in a jubilee. Can't be in a jubilee, not possible. So you, you just count back from this way. It doesn't matter what happened up this side. You've got to count back from the manolial reign to, to tell whether we're in a jubilee or not. All right, back this way, the Jews returned, or Judah returned to their land in 1948. All right, so we have to be right on the time period. It doesn't matter which way you look at it, but... Um, we're, uh, my group of studies, we're looking at uh, next year. All right, there's one more year to go. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, God bless, guys. It's, it's not a jubilee. Sorry. <laughs>